40% of people 20 years or older have high cholesterol, and many of them also have chronic inflammation. You take those two things and combine them together, well, that's a really bad combo. And that's one of the reasons that the number one cause of premature death is cardiovascular related issues. So let's talk about some of the different foods that you can eat in order to help you clean up your arteries. Hey, Wellness Warriors, I'm Dr. Nick Zorowski, and I started my holistic health practice in order to help you take control of your health naturally, because true health only comes naturally. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell. It would help greatly if you hit that notification bell because subscribes hardly mean anything on YouTube anymore. Also give this video a thumbs up and share with me your thoughts in the comments down below. I would venture to say that 90% of the people that I take care of over the age of 40 have very poor cardiovascular markers. Early death statistics due to heart-related issues are incredibly bad, so we have to take this problem very, very seriously. The arteries become clogged in a process known as atherosclerosis. What happens is that you take chronic inflammation, as I mentioned before, and then what happens with that chronic inflammation is you get fatty deposits that start to lay down along the arterial wall. What it does is it causes hardening of the arterial walls. It causes also narrowing of the blood vessels. And as a result of that, it restricts blood flow to not only the entire body, but even the heart itself. I know what you're probably thinking. Well, this happens to other people, but it won't happen to me. But let me tell you this, according to the research, 50% of people that die prematurely in the Western countries is due to atherosclerosis. So if you haven't had a proper heart panel done on you, then how do you know that you're not part of the 50% club? Well, according to the research, there's a few pointers we can look to to determine if we are. Do you have high LDLs or even high triglycerides? Maybe both. Do you have high blood pressure? I mean, this is something that I'd say an enormous amount of patients that I work with have. Are you over the age of 40? Do you suffer from inflammatory issues? Okay, this is a major problem for today. It's one of the major drivers of chronic disease that should be altogether avoided. Do you eat a lot of processed foods? Do you smoke cigarettes? Do you have a high amount of fat accumulation around your waist? Do you have type 2 diabetes? Do you consume high amounts of sugar? Are you obese? It's estimated that 50% of people will be obese by the uh, year 2030, which is absolutely insane. Do you live a sedentary lifestyle and not exercise? Okay, these are all guidelines that can help us know if we're part of that 50% club. It doesn't mean we are, but it just means that we should go to a doctor who's gonna run a proper heart panel and not just look at cholesterol, whether it's high or low. We have to look at many other markers to determine if this is happening in our arteries. Now let's go ahead and talk foods because this is the fun part. You know, We have to take this seriously, but we also can have some fun with it and make sure that we're incorporating some of these very foods that will help clean up our arteries. Now, this first food I wanna talk about, you're going to think I've gone crazy because you're going to be like, well, how can life be so good? Because this is a really delicious food that most people love, and that is dark chocolate. What the research shows is that consuming dark chocolate will help reverse a lot of the damage that's being done in your arteries, which is really incredible. And so who's to say that you can't eat good and eat healthy all at the same time? Now, according to the research, when we consume dark chocolate, we wanna make sure that it's 85% cacao. So we wanna make sure we're getting the good stuff. We wanna get 85% cacao content and also sugar-free, get one sweetened with stevia, they're way better for you. Now, here's what we wanna to look to as well, and that's the research, because the research is actually very compelling. Compelling. There was a study on 2,217 participants, and they found that eating chocolate was associated with less atherosclerotic plaque in the coronary arteries. Now, these are the arteries that actually go and supply oxygen to the heart, and it's one of the major arteries that becomes affected with this plaque growth in there. Now, there was another study that showed us that eating chocolate is associated with a reduced risk of stroke and also heart disease and diabetes. Like this is a win-win, okay? So when you sit down at night and you have your glass of wine, which is gonna be really good for you as well because it has all that resveratrol in it, you can also grab some dark chocolate and improve your heart health as well. See, eating healthy is very good. Now, you may not know this about me due to the strong Polish name, but the fact is genetically, I'm mostly Italian. And when we look at growing up around a whole bunch of Italians and going to Italian restaurants, what did we eat? 
Well, we ate this next food and that's olive oil. Now, olive oil has so many different cardiovascular benefits. We don't want to overlook this one. And the major component in it that supports our heart health so much is going to be the polyphenols. This is a micronutrient that is absolutely loaded with antioxidants. In fact, it's one of the major reasons that the Mediterranean diet is so healthy. Now, when we look at olive oil, it has shown to help reduce atherosclerosis from many different angles. Now, let's take a look at the research. There was a four month study in 82 people with early atherosclerosis, and they found that a daily intake of one ounce of olive oil significantly improved participants' blood vessel function and reduced their inflammatory markers. So this is the other thing that's very important about olive oil is it's very, very non-inflammatory. There was a 2018 review that concluded that olive oil consumption is associated with reduced atherosclerosis related inflammatory markers and decreased risk of heart disease and complications. Now, because I don't give you garbage health information, I'm not going to tell you to go follow the guidelines set in place by the experts and go eat from the food pyramid and make sure that you get your healthy whole grains in every day. Okay. That's not how you improve your heart health. But I will tell you that if you want to improve your heart health, you should eat some good fatty fish because fatty fish has high contents of omega threes in it. And this is part of any good healthy heart diet. Now, some of the best fatty fish you can eat are going to be salmon, mackerel, herring, sardines, and even anchovies. I personally like to try to get sardines in my meal plan at least twice a week. And I know what many of you are saying, sardines are disgusting and I will never eat them. But let me tell you, if you're going to eat sardines, I do like the Wild Planet brand in using and eating the ones that have lemon in them. They're actually pretty decent because the fact is, is I don't look at sardines as the most tasty food that I eat throughout the week, but it's definitely one of the healthiest superfoods that I eat. Loaded with DHA, incredibly good for our heart health, and also lots of omega-3s. Now, if you're somebody who just doesn't like eating fish at all, the least you can do is make sure that you're taking a fish oil every single day because that is going to really help support not only lowering inflammation in the body, but also reducing your risk of cardiovascular related issues. Now, before we get to the next food that's gonna help you clean up your arterial walls, I wanna tell you, Many of you ask me questions all the time that I cover in my private community. Though the conversation starts here on YouTube, on social media, it continues in the Wellness Warrior community. We've done two and three day water fasts together. We're always working to improve our exercise and our diet. Currently, we're actually doing a group detox. So if you want information that's gonna help you go straight to improving your health naturally, that's uncensored, that doesn't have all the ads on it, then join the Wellness Warrior community today by texting this number here on the screen. Text this number and I'll see you on the other side. And if you're not in the US or Canada, I'll put a link in the description below to where you can join our email list. Now this next group of food is not only delicious, but it's incredibly powerful at cleaning up your arteries. In fact, if you're eating a healthy diet, it makes a really great dessert or treat. And that's going to be berries. Many berries have been shown to improve your arterial health. That's going to be strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, cranberries. They're all incredibly beneficial because they have lots of fiber, they have lots of of vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants in them as well. So they're very, very micronutrient dense, but also very low on the glycemic scale. Now, when we look at the research, the research shows us some pretty incredible stuff. Research has shown us that eating berries significantly reduces atherosclerosis, risk factors, including elevated LDL, cholesterol, blood pressure, and even blood sugar levels, which is truly, truly incredible. I mean, it's berries. They're delicious. Berries also, according to the research, may help us prevent clogged arteries by reducing inflammation because they're highly non-inflammatory and cholesterol accumulation. It also can help us improve arterial function and protect against cellular damage. One of my favorite ways to eat berries is to get a big bag of mixed frozen ones and put them in a smoothie combined with lots of good healthy leafy greens. And there you have a complete, not only possibly meal, but also a complete delicious snack that is going to help you improve your heart health in an incredible way. Now let's go ahead and talk tea for a minute because many of us drink coffee, but we tend to forget that tea has been around forever in ancient medicine, proving to have a lot of therapeutic benefits. Now specifically green tea is one that I wanna talk about today because green tea has been shown to help us improve heart health. It's been shown to help reduce cholesterol, decrease inflammation, and also even have anti-cancer benefits. So drinking some green tea throughout the day is a great way to help clean up your arteries. In fact, 
fact, this is a good reminder for me to start increasing my tea intake a little bit because of all the benefits it does have. Now, are you somebody who drinks tea? Let me know in the comments down below. Now, the next thing we wanna to look to is going to be natural supplementation because in the natural realm of health, we use this all the time in order to help people move the needle a little bit faster, but more importantly, stay off a lot of the pharmaceuticals. Now, according to the research, there's some great ones that we can take, and I'll also put a link to a cardiovascular kit that has these in it in the description below. The first is gonna be omega-3 fatty acids, okay? That's what I had mentioned before. That's why we should eat more fish, but a lot of people don't eat near enough fish. And, you know, quite frankly, a lot of the fish out there is kind of toxic with a lot of mercury in it, and healthy sources sometimes are a little bit hard to come by. So omega-3 fatty acids are going to be something that's good to supplement with. The next thing that we can look to is a vitamin D3. We wanna get the active form, and we want also wanna get it combined with K2, because K2 and D3 are a great combo together to help us improve our cardiovascular health and prevent atherosclerosis. Next, we wanna to look to magnesium. Magnesium is very good for the cardiovascular health, CoQ10, and then niacin, that's vitamin B3. It really helps us reduce those bad cholesterol scores. We use this all the time clinically, and as I mentioned before, we're trying to keep people off the pharmaceuticals that have all kinds of negative side effects, so that's where these really come in and are very powerful. The next is going to be curcumin, okay? It's one of the most powerful anti-inflammatory herbs that is out there. We really want to use this in order to help drive down inflammation. Inflammation within the cardiovascular system is incredibly dangerous and the curcumin really helps. So as I mentioned, I'll put in the description below a link to the cardiovascular kit that I use that has many of these vitamins in it. And also go and check out some of the other videos on this channel that's gonna help you improve your eating. It's an incredibly important part of this. I'll see you in the next video.